Question three. Nursery self-fertilizer. This is a whole question on fertilizers. Um, fertilizer mixtures containing nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium com compounds. On the label of a certain fertilizer bag, it states that nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium ratio is 232. Explain the me meaning of 232. Well, it would mean two parts nitrogen, three parts phosphorus is two, two parts potassium. Okay. State one function of each of the following elements in plants. Nitrogen. Well, nitrogen is very good in terms of causing um, leaf growth, green leafy plants to grow. Phosphorus is very important in terms of developing the root structure. So here we're saying um, green leaves. And you're thinking leaf growth. Phosphorus is very important in the growth of roots. And roots are very important for the plant because that's how they're going to absorb moisture and other minerals from the ground. And potassium is helpful in flower and fruit production. Okay. And if you think about it, fruits come from flowers. So if the flower, if a plant's got lots of flowers, it can result in lots of fruit. And so for a farmer who's trying to make sure he's got lots of oranges, for example, he wants lots and lots of buds to develop so that we can develop, they can develop lots of fruit. So, great told we were tackling a question on fertilizers. Let's continue with this. The flow diagram below shows how fertilizers Y and Z are produced in industry. So let's have a quickly, quick look here. We've got those two fertilizers, Y and Z, and we get information here. Now, the harbor process, I want you to think about that. That's nitrogen and hydrogen forming. You should be thinking <laughs> product W would be ammonia, NH3. What must the Ostwald process, what does it produce? It produces nitric acid, HNO3. Okay, we're going to come to, to Y in a moment. That's going to be fertilizer Z. Ammonia plus hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid is going to give me NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. And that would make sense because you've got one extra hydrogen as well as the chlorine. And fertilizer Y, well, that's ammonium nitrate. So NH4 NO3. Okay? This is just a nice flow diagram, and maybe you want to take something like this as you're studying so it kind of all comes together. Write down the name or formula of each of these products. All right, we've pretty much done that. And notice you always want to do that before you come to the question so that you understand the question a little bit more. Product W. Product W was ammonia, which was NH3. Product X was nitric acid. And that was HNO3. Fertilizer Z would be ammonium chloride, which was NH4Cl. Now I want you to go back and make sure that you've gone and studied fertilizers, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I teach only ladies. <laughs> um, you have to make sure that you've got your learning work done because if you don't know what the product of the Ostwald process is, you're going to be completely stuck in this question. Okay, so lots and lots of studying needs to go into this. All right, question 3.2. Write down the, write down a balanced equation. Keywords there: balanced equation for the preparation of fertilizer Y. Fertilizer Y was this. All right, we've got a good 
start with it because we know what the product of the harbour process is and the product of the Ostwald process. So let's go and write some of these down. It would be ammonia, NH3, plus nitric acid, which was HNO3, forms, well, we've got NH4NO3, okay, ammonium nitrate. Perfect. Is it balanced? Well, we've got the, yes, one, two nitrogens, two nitrogens, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, three oxygens, three oxygens. Perfectly balanced. Absolutely fabulous. Fertilizer prices are increasing year by year. Give two reasons why this would happen. Well, two possible reasons. Either the cost of production is going up. So that's one option. Increased cost of production. Or another one would be increased demand for fertilizers. You know that if, if we were to have lots and lots and lots of people wanting a certain product, then the there is a high demand for it, and so the person who's selling it can say, oh, I'm not going to have enough to supply all these people. Let's push the prices up. Okay? So the idea is that either the cost of the production of these substances is, going, is getting higher or the demand is getting higher, and both would increase the overall, um, the overall prices of fertilizers.